It is beautiful outside. The leaves are on the trees, the birds are chirping, the flowers are out. Except the problem is, is that I can't see the flowers. It's because I'm colorblind and I, I get colors confused. In fact, my wife says I confuse just about all colors that I see. I wouldn't know, to tell you the truth. So the red flowers behind me on the green leafy bush, I don't see them. And my daughter, who is just helping me now, just told me that those aren't red, they're orange. So obviously I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And thankfully I have daughters and sons and a wife who can help me dress myself or I uh, walk out of the house looking like a clown, which actually has happened a few times. So what does this have to do with employee engagement? It's all about the confusion. First, we have to realize that the opposite of engagement is not disengagement, but just no engagement. And the opposite of satisfaction is not dissatisfaction, but just no satisfaction. If we were to put it all together, we would see that there are three stages of employees, dissatisfied, satisfied, and engaged. When companies see employees not giving it their all and kind of being a little bit apathetic maybe, they say, oh, our employees are disengaged. We need to engage them. And so they put in what they think are engagement programs when really they put in employee satisfaction programs, which are very different. In fact, we could say that these programs are anti dissatisfaction programs. You got that? They think that if they can move them away from being disengaged, they'll automatically be engaged, right? That makes sense. But the opposite of disengaged is engaged, it's just not engaged. And so what they've done is taken the employee from dissatisfied to just satisfied, but not engaged. When we go from dissatisfied to satisfied, we are just striving not to suck. When we go from satisfied to engaged, that is where we are striving to be awesome. Recently, I had a director of a large multinational company call me, and this company is rated one of the best places to work for in the United States. But when they listened to the keynote speech that I gave that they attended, they realized that their programs weren't engagement programs, they were satisfaction programs. And if they really, really wanted to engage their employees, they need to create engagement programs, not satisfaction programs. So what do satisfaction programs look like? They look like parties, barbecues, bowling parties, ice cream parties, uh, employee of the month, uh, newsletters, you know, giving childcare, thinking that's going to engage employees and that, that doesn't, that satisfies employees but it doesn't engage them. So what does engage employees? Trust. Working on something that's really hard, but accomplishing something great. Being able to try something without fear of failure, or at least if you do fail, fear of, without fear of retribution. These are the kind of things that create engaged employees. But why don't we do them? It's because they're more difficult. They're much more difficult to do. And so we usually, refer back to or default to the satisfaction programs because they're easy to do and call that engagement when it really isn't. It's just satisfaction. Not long ago, I was showing a company how to measure employee engagement using via ping. And I asked them, so what are you going to do to engage your employees? And they told me parties, uh, barbecues, employee of the month, things like that. And I thought, boy, if you're going to measure it, make sure you're measuring the right thing. Because if you measure the wrong thing, if you measure engagement, for example, and you only put in satisfaction programs, then your metrics are going to be horrible. So what do we learn from this? We learned that if we want engagement, we have to do the things that will actually engage the employees. If we want satisfaction, all we need to do is throw up an employee of the month, a newsletter, and uh, have a barbecue and we're good. If we want to measure engagement, we need to make sure the criteria is specifically for engagement and not for satisfaction. When you're striving to be awesome, do the hard things, the things that will truly bring engagement, and then take your employees along with you in that journey to create an engaged environment, which will by default create engaged employees.